it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, we are going to be doing a trash to treasure DIY utilizing this Dollar Tree broken tote that is by Essentials. I picked this up a while back and since it was broken, I waited to find something unique to do with it. And we are going to be utilizing the brand new creamy white nautical rope that Dollar Tree just came out with to do this DIY. It comes in two different sizes. As you can see, I have them here. One is 6.9 feet long and the other is 11.1 feet long. They are different thicknesses as well. Chad picked this up for me a little ways away from our house when he was out at his job. We are going to be using the 11.1 only. We're also going to be utilizing these two eight inch reforms they come two in a pack i've used them before and we're going to take them apart and use like the inner ring of these we're going to cut it out with some wire cutters and then we're going to do something and glue it down but before we do that we are going to cut the handles off of this tote because we don't need them Now right here, I am taking some wire cutters and, and I am just cutting loose the inner ring. I use a twisting back and forth motion to make sure that I can just easily cut the inner ring out of the big reform and I'm setting the rest of it aside for a future project. Then I'm going to take both of these rings and I'm going to string beads on them. They snap apart in the section that connects them really easy and we're not going to even have to hot glue that back you will see at the end. So what we want to do is just start stringing beads on it and I put 15 beads on each one of these rings. Right here, I'm showing you where I'm going to place this when I'm done. Both of these are going to end up as the handles on our tote. These are 20 millimeter beads that I got from Amazon in bulk. I got about 200 of them for $11.99. And to find them, you can search unfinished wooden beads. I think this is the cheapest way to do this because you'd have to buy a whole lot more beads at Dollar Tree and then paint them if you wanted them. The same kind of look now I'm not worried about the little edge here that's still open because I am going to glue the end beads to the round so that they don't move before I glue down the metal part to the actual tote I'm going to use my small hot glue gun because it has a small nozzle and it can fit right inside of the beads <laughs> Here I have both of the handles beaded and we are going to take them and place them on to the tote right where the beads end and then glue that down to the tote. So here I have my big hot glue gun and I use some twist ties to just anchor these handles on so they would hold so I could glue them down and I'm going to put a generous amount of hot glue on here over the thickest parts of the tote to hold it down and I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks. You can also use some E6000 glue to hold it on there but this should keep it nice and sturdy so that the handles will never come off. So next, we're going to take a couple of these placements that I got from Dollar Tree back in the winter season, and we are going to line the inside of this tote. We are just going to put them around. I have several of them here, but I'm going to use two to make the actual liner part of it and have them touch the bottom. I'm not going to worry about the actual bottom of the tote being covered because it's plastic on it and it is going to be waterproof down there and I don't know need it to be covered. I'm going to keep it long at the top and I will be folding it over once I'm done. So I simply put in the placemats to see how much I might have that's excess fabric and I'm going to cut that off. What I'm going to do is take and cut 
a piece of it off on the end and then slide the other end into it and then hot glue it down. You can do this with stitch witchery if you like instead of hot glue or with your sewing machine but I don't think it's necessary for this project for me because since we are not putting any of this on the bottom it won't be pulling it away. It'll just be holding it up on the side so you have a pretty liner. So here I'm going to tuck the other one inside just so it's one continuous piece going around and I'm going to hot glue it with Gorilla Glue and a little bit of my regular hot glue just so it holds quicker because the Gorilla Glue 6 is a high heat gun and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Here I'm just going to place it back inside of my tote to make sure I measured it correctly and cut the other side and tuck it in as well and hot glue it down so it fits nice and snug. Okay, here now that I have one continuous piece, I'm going to take another placemat and I'm going to cut up some pieces to hot glue to the inside to make some pockets inside of the tote so that I will have extra storage inside the tote that is separate from the middle section. Also, all I'm going to do is keep all of the stitch sides already stitched together, cut off a piece fold over the top and then hot glue it down to one side of my inner lining. So here all I'm doing is folding over the top edge and gluing it down and I'm going to fold it over twice so I have a nice clean edge and it doesn't look all tattered or it won't ravel so when I glue it down it will look like it was made to go inside and be a pocket. So now I'm just measuring where I want the pocket to fit. I want it to be lower in the bag because already we know that the liner is too tall for the bag and I want it to set in the middle. This is the deep pocket that I'm putting on and as you can see right next to it there is a smaller piece. I already made a narrower shallower pocket to go on the other side and I'm actually going to glue that in so it looks like two pockets. I'm using my Gorilla Glue Sticks for this. You can sew this on there if you like or use Stitched Witchery but I don't think it's going to come loose once it's all set and dry. Now I am placing my shallower pockets on and what I'm going to do is glue one side of it and then fold it over in half and glue the middle section. So in essence, once that's glued down, you will have two pockets on here. Then I'm going to glue the bottom and the other side. Okay, now that we have it all done, we're going to flip it wrong side out because we want the print to be on the inside of the bag and we are going to put it back inside our tote. Make sure that your pockets are facing up so you will be able to utilize them once your bag is all glued in once the liner is glued to the actual tote. So now we're just going to straighten it all out and we're going to go around and we're going to glue this liner to the tote. Okay, to glue the lining in, I am going to take my small glue gun and place the nozzle because it fits in these little holes and go around this 
entire tote on the bottom and deposit a little bit of glue and then do it in a few places up the sides so that this is held into place. Okay, here you can see I am simply folding over the liner inside of the tote. And you want to fold that down to where it is just above the tote. I want to be able to have just a little bit of the fabric showing because the next part after we glue this down will cover up the entire plastic tote. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take my Gorilla Glue Gun and we are going to glue the liner around the top on the thick part of the plastic. I gave you all me when I came I knew that I'd be down for the fall if it happened so much unspoken Sometimes we're not happy, but we never are broken, are we? Even on an island by ourselves, girl, you make me happy, can't you tell? If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded. Okay, here I have some of that placemat left over and I already folded it over on itself and now I am sewing it with a needle of thread to make a circle to fit into one side of the tote. I am doing this so it can hold a water bottle or a travel mug. Now I am using a needle and thread because I do believe if I don't do this it could possibly come loose so I am just sewing this part before I glue it into the bag. Okay, here you can see the circle that I have sewn together and I'm going to just slide it over my travel mug here so I can see that it fits and then I'm going to take a put a bunch of hot glue on it and then glue it down into the side of the tote about halfway down so I can ensure that if I did put a mug in there or a bottle of water it would not tip over inside of the tote. And now comes the fun part that I've been waiting for. We're going to take our new nautical rope and we are going to place it on the bottom of our tote and start hot gluing it down and working our way all the way around in a nice tight pattern until we reach the top of the tote at the beach. We're going to start in the middle with a little dab of glue to make sure that the rope doesn't unravel and then we are just going to go all the way from the bottom up to the top. Ourselves. Girl, you make me happy, can't you tell? If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded. Here where the sections meet, I'm just going to simply keep going and I'm going to jog the rope up to the next level. Don't worry, you won't see this in the end. I am going to keep going, making little dots on the thickest part of the actual tote, not in the spot where the holes are, and keep putting my rope all the way up. All in all, I end up using six strands of the 11.1 foot rope. It is the smaller of the two and I covered the entire bag up to where the beads are. get to the end I cut off the excess rope when it is going to go way past the middle and I start my next piece right where I end up. I want most of where it's connected to be in the middle of the tote because then I'll easily be able to hide the connection. So much unspoken Sometimes we're not happy but we never are broken Are we Girl, you make me happy, can't you tell? If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded. 
Okay, so here is what it looks like when it's all finished and the rope goes all the way up to the beads. It's quite heavy and it looks really perfect and I really like how it turned out. This is the side where it's not connected at all and it is glued all the way around up to the top of the liner. Now here on the back side, as you can see, you can tell where everything is connected and it's kind of a wavy pattern going down it, but don't worry about it at all. It is going to be all covered up. I added a couple of pieces of extra glue there too, as you can see, because I didn't want that piece to lift. Now we're gonna take this beautiful peony from Dollar Tree. They had these last winter and early spring, and we are going to glue it along with the leaves to cover up some of the spots where it is connected. what my final project looks like and I have to let you guys know I'm in love with it. This is one of my favorite projects that I've ever done here on my channel. I love that it looks completely high end and that I use a piece from Dollar Tree that would have went into the trash and it became this wonderful treasure. Everything on this came from Dollar Tree except for the wooden beads. Like I said before, I suggest that you buy them from Amazon and I will try to link them down below because you get much more bang for your buck with this. Even if you bought them from Dollar Tree, I think you would pay more for the beads in the long run than you would from buying them from Amazon. Also, the only thing that's hard about this is the time that it takes to do it you don't have to do anything that's too difficult it just takes a little while to do the insert and the rope on the outside so that is it if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching liking and always sharing my videos and if you're not a member here at lacy space yet i don't know why not go ahead hit that subscribe button become a member hang out with us for a while we have a lot of fun here we make a lot of cool things here also if you like you can follow me on instagram it's lacy space the same way that it is spelled here and i will catch all of you in my next video bye loves Came, I knew that I'd be down for the fall if it happened. So much unspoken, sometimes we're not happy, but we never are broken, are we? Even on an island by ourselves, girl, you make me happy, can't you tell? If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded with you. If I gotta be stranded, then, then I wanna be stranded.